All right, time for another math easy solution here. Discuss some more derivative rules and look at the uh, inverse trigonometry this time. And I'll derive an expression for the derivative of uh, basically inverse sine of x and using the implicit differentiation. You see my other earlier video on this is a really powerful tool to use. So basically, if you have a function, let's say y is equal to inverse sine of x. If you recall about what inverse functions are in my inverse trig, this is basically a way of writing, basically if you have sine y is equal to x, this is a bit basically a way of writing what the inverse is, or, or you just switch to variables and solve for y. This is inside here. In my earlier video, I, I showed that basically y, the rain, the domain in this case is going to be y is less than pi over two and greater than negative pi over two. So this is only defined for these sections. And if you were to draw the inverse function, you'll have something like y. This is x. So you're going to have this is this is pi over 2, this is negative pi over 2, and then the, the function actually looks something like this, where this is 1, and then this is negative 1. Yeah, and the reason it's defined between these basically, because uh, the, the sine one keeps going forever, but this one, we can't have uh, multiple uh, y values, so that's why it just cuts off here, so you, if you were to draw straight line you wouldn't have let's say at x is on a point five or whatever you wouldn't have two values here so that's why it's cuts off right here it's defined between these two it's only defined between these right here okay so now to do the derivative all we do is look at this this uh, function right here and just just uh, directly do the derivative using implicit differentiation so we'll just write that out and solve it so basically if you have sine sine y is equal to x then the then if we do implicit differentiation, well, using derivative of sine is just cosine, cosine y, and then using chain rule, where this derivative of y is just going to be y prime, and this is going to equal to, well, derivative of x is just 1. And then remember, uh, in this case, y prime is just dy over dx, basically derivative in terms of x. Then if we uh, rearrange this, we're going to get y prime is equal to 1 over cos y. But uh, also, if you recall that the trig at the cosine, let's say y squared plus sine squared y, this one just adds up to 1. You see my uh, other video on uh, the info below on the proof of this. So basically, if we rearrange this for solving for cos y, we're going to get, let's say, cos squared y is equal to 1 minus sine squared y. And then if we square root this, we're going to have cosine y is equal to well, plus or minus 1 minus sine squared y. So it's a plus or minus, but the thing is uh, y, again, is uh, defined from, yeah, so y is defined, as you recall, basically y is less than pi over 2 and greater than pi over 2. And when you dr graph uh, cosine, basically cosine is something like this for uh and it keeps going on and whatnot but but for pi over two and this is uh negative pi over two this is basically greater than zero so this is cosine y is greater than zero at 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 this little range here so basically this one we don't need this negative here so we get rid of the negative we're gonna have cosine y is equal to plus or just screw the one minus sine squared y so then we just plug this in here. We're going to have y prime is equal to 1 over 1 minus sine squared y. But then if you saw the earlier, uh, basically from definition of inverse, we had sine y is equal to x. So if we square these both, we're going to have sine squared y is equal to x squared. And we just plug this in there. So we're going to get y prime is equal to 1 over 1 minus x squared. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, there's a derivative for, for basically uh, uh, inverse sine. And uh, where y is equal to sine inverse 1 of x. Well, that's all for today. Uh, you could do this method for, all, uh, for every kind of inverse trig, and I'll do that in my other videos. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned, and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution.